Good afternoon. So today we're going to Lowe's. Um, <laughs> I know it seems kind of weird film at Lowe's, but they have an incredible Christmas display up. I came in here the other day and I saw they were starting to build it. And a friend of mine told me that it's an amazing display. My wife, Jessica, she loves Christmas. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. I got off work a little early here, so I ran back, got my camera equipment. We're going to go into Lowe's, check it out, check out their Christmas display. Maybe they'll have some Halloween stuff still, I don't know. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. We do this all the time. I know there's arguments always to which is better, Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't know. I kind of feel like they're two different stores. They sell a lot of the same products. Uh, we usually go to Home Depot for doing some kind of home repair or something. It's usually a little cheaper, but... Lowe's definitely has uh, some better quality stuff. A little pricey, though. Right here up front, they got a few little Halloween items. Some uh, fall flowers, some nice-looking mums down here. Little pumpkins. Looks like they've seen better days. Okay, well, my friend wasn't kidding. As soon as you walk in here, they got this giant... Uh, old 60s ford looking truck boy they want 400 bucks for that though i don't know about that got this nice little christmas display here pretty awesome looking i know jessica will be happy to see all these christmas trees they got some really good ones here uh, we were looking to buy a new christmas tree but since the pandemic and everything we're kind of holding on to our change we got our uh, Disney trip coming up here in about a month, too, so we're putting some money away for that. These are some awesome looking trees. We got this awesome bike here. Looks pretty cool. Got the lights on it. Got the little drummer boy up there. Nice little manger scene. They do got a lot of stuff. We're gonna we're gonna walk through it all, see what we see. See the Christmas polar bear there. We'll check out some of the prices. They look a little pricey here. We may do a comparison video with Home Depot. I know Home Depot does do a lot of Christmas stuff. I was in there the other day, didn't see a whole lot yet. I do gotta say though, it will be some tough competition because Home Depot really does do a good job with all their their big blow up, uh, uh, I don't know what you call them, the, the air pump characters you know they'll have like mickey mouse christmas santa claus the grinch i've seen a lot of cool ones uh let's see if we can find some here i'll tell you what there is no lack of trees here they have like a whole forest of them really awesome one thing i don't really like already about lowe's here is they're constantly on the intercom like every 30 seconds they're on there reminding you to put on your mask and all that it seems a little excessive um, I know if I was sh just shopping around here, I think they just like talking on the intercom. They're probably bored. Not many people here. Price here might be a little much for me, but if I had to pick a tree out of these, the most colorful, me and Jess love colorful lights. She's a big fan of the white lights too, but I don't know. I like to have nice, nice pretty colors. It's a pretty wide tree too. This is a lot bigger than the one we have. Now, this is really cool. Got uh, some Santas, some snowmen, reindeer, all lit up, LED lights. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, myself, I do feel it's a little early for Christmas. It's not even Halloween yet. But I wanted to come in and film this stuff because as it gets closer to Christmas, this stuff will be gone. They'll be getting rid of this stuff like that. So I wanted to come in and film their display so you guys could see all the lights. I'm sure every Lowe's in the country is lit up like no this. These guys are really laying it on on the intercom system. I have to keep stopping and going back. Um, it's it's a little frustrating when trying to film some of the Christmas stuff. Got some really cool displays here. Got a little camper, Christmas camper. Sixty bucks. I don't. That ain't really too bad. Neat little reindeer up here kind of hard to get with the lighting and everything uh it's 100 bucks seems a little much for that i'm gonna spend 100 bucks i'm gonna get this elf for 70. Well, this dog is pretty cute 
Got this little birdie here. Oh, here's something Jess likes. I forget what it's called. Norwal. I think that's it. Norwal? Pretty peacock. Okay, well, I found something that I know Jessica will like now. Mostly because it's got these guys on it. Cool little Disney Merry Christmas banner. After Jessica sees this video, I can guarantee you she's going to want to come here and do some shopping. These are the things I like. They call this Carol Town. That's pretty neat there. Christmas tree farm. 40 bucks, I mean, for the detail in these. I don't... They, I mean, they kind of look like Limax. Really nice. Really intricate. I like this one right here. Easton's Toy Shop. Got the little gears here going, making the toys. I wish this was a little lower so you could really see them because they're kind of way up here, but a nice windmill up here, church, a little Santa's area there, talking to the kiddos. I don't think the camera really does them justice here, but these are really nice. They're, they're a little pricey, but you know, you pay for better quality for sure. Well, here's a good deal on some uh, Mickey and Minnie and Snoopy Christmas figures here. Pretty tall too, I mean, a couple feet. These are the inflatables that I was talking about before. This is kind of becoming the new thing here. Oh, Olaf. That's cool. Mickey and Minnie here. Got a cool minion. That'd be neat in the front yard, huh? This is the same Grinch I saw in somebody's yard last year. Pretty cool. Everybody loves the Grinch. And behind all the inflatables here, you have got all the ornaments and garland. Everything you need for Christmas. This is pretty cool. Things where you can make your own message. They have an extraordinary amount of Christmas stuff out here. Oh, this is what Jess was talking about. Actually, they have many more kinds of them here, Jess. Uh, these Mickey lights, Mickey hanging lights. Oof, 90 bucks. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Might have to ask Santa for those. Okay, so if you are a Disney fan, this is the place to buy your Christmas stuff. I have found a Disney section. They have got any kind of Mickey Mouse Christmas light thing you could possibly imagine. I mean, this just goes on and on and on. This is neat. So you got the big Mickey ball here, and then it has like a light that shines out all these Mickey heads down here. That's pretty awesome. This is kind of what it does if it's outside. You hang the Mickey ball on your porch there and it shines out all those Christmas Mickey heads everywhere. Too cool. This is the wall of Mickey's Christmas right here. At the top you got these cool Mickey and Minnie uh, statue Christmas lit up. Pretty awesome. I love this Olaf here. That's too cool. Man. Lots of Christmas stuff. And we got a giant nutcracker. Boy, that's incredible. He's got to be probably six, seven feet tall. I mean, he is absolutely huge. I'll tell you what, I like this uh, snowman guy. It's $120, but it's cool because it's attached with his two kids climbing up on top of him here. I don't know. That's pretty neat. It's like they're stacking snowmen on top of the snowman. <laughs> Here's a look at the other side of all the Christmas trees. Boy, they have a ton. Nice ones, too. Really nice. I don't think the camera does it justice here. But they are very pretty. Also, I want to point out, they're pretty much done with Halloween. Uh, this is the area where the Halloween stuff was. And this stuff up top is pretty much all that's left. Crazy. They also have some really nice holiday decor. 
I love these kind of pillows. They're just, they're real nice, nice, uh, nice texture, real fluffy. I know Jessica would love them. I'm not going to buy anything without her here, though, because uh, she's going to have to come and check this stuff out. So we may be doing another video here at some point. We'll call it the Jess and Dan Christmas haul. I never really need too much of an excuse to come to Home Depot or Lowe's. I love coming here. It's so nice. It's refreshing. You know, you get that, that smell of the fresh cut wood. It's just real pleasant to walk around. I, I end up buying stuff here I don't even really need. I don't know. It's, <laughs> that's just how it works sometimes. I'll use it eventually. But... Gone a little further back here and they have another setup. It's full of these snowmen and penguins. I like these. Kind of Kind of old school looking. Not as much either. 20 bucks. That ain't bad. I like this car with Santa driving. Uh, it's funny because he looks like a bear with antlers. So maybe that's just a Santa hat with antlers and a bear just trying to. Oh, uh, it's kind of weird. Pretty cool though. I like this snowman too. Real colorful. Actually, he's pretty big too. For only 60 bucks and being all lit up like that. Comparatively speaking to everything else, that's not a bad price. I gotta say, this stuff is pretty much endless. I like all this old school stuff. Like, this is pretty neat. Like, kind of just yarn all sewn together, looking like a Christmas tree. Uh, it's funny, I always wanted to buy one of these. I know Jess likes them, but they never have the green ones. It's always the white with the lights on it. Never, can never find the green ones. Got a couple nutcrackers. I like this wreath, too. Kind of like the vintage stuff. Kind of, it looks like it was made at home, you know. Here's some more vintage stuff they got. Here's a uh, countdown to Christmas. I'm sure Jess will love that. All this old school metal. This is, this is metal. That's pretty neat. Real intricate. Also right here, nice little chalkboard Christmas countdown. Pretty awesome. I gotta say, if you can't find it here at Lowe's, they don't sell it. I mean, there is an endless amount of Christmas stuff here. Like I said before, it is October 20th. I, I'm sure they're gonna only have more stuff coming in. This is amazing. Like, it's an incredible setup. They got a lot of stuff. I don't think it's as pricey as everybody says it is. It seems like it's relatively comparable to Home Depot, but we'll probably check out Home Depot's Christmas stuff as it gets closer to Christmas. Yeah, they got some cool just plastic stand-ups. Somewhere where you can mail your letters to Santa. It's a cool candy cane. Another nutcracker. I like how they put all these lights on display here. So you can see what you're buying before you buy it. Pretty awesome Christmas lights here. These are cool. Really big ones. Got these, uh, what do these look like? They'd uh, kind of be good for Halloween. Kind of spooky. They're a little pricey. I like to take the plug out of the box and plug them into an outlet around the store just to make sure the lights work because so many times I've bought lights and I've had to take them back because they didn't work. So I recommend doing that. Ask somebody, ask an employee. Nobody ever minds if you do something like that. Okay, well, that's going to do it here for us at Lowe's. That Awesome time. Got to see all the Christmas decorations. Uh, really neat lights. Lots of figurines. Awesome Christmas trees. This is, if you need to decorate your house for Christmas, I highly recommend going to Lowe's. Check out everything they have. Really, really awesome stuff. With all that being said, I'm out. And remember, the adventure is out there.